Hi there. The following video will answer question 4, part 3 and 4 of the OCR Core 3 Maths January 2010 past paper. Let's remind ourselves. It gave us a function f where f of x was equal to 2 minus the cube root of x plus 1. It starts off in part 3 by asking us to find an expression for f in minus 1 of x. Just before we launch into that, let's think what that means. f to the minus 1 of x actually is asking for the inverse function of f of x. Be careful not to confuse this with f of x to the minus 1, which is index notation, which means 1 over f of x. OK, here we're getting asked for the inverse function. OK, two ways to do this. There's quite a long way and there's a, a short method that I'll show you both ways. Firstly, let's think of what the original function f does. Let's think of what f does. It starts off with an input number x. Then you add 1. So you do the operation add 1. And you get x plus 1. Then you take a cube root. So you take a cube root and you get the cube root of x plus 1. Then you multiply by minus 1. So you multiply by minus 1 and you get minus the cube root of x plus 1. Then what you do is you add 2 effectively. So the last thing you do is you add 2 and you end up with 2 minus the cube root of x plus 1. And this is your f of x function. Going back from f of x to x is, is the inverse function. So let's start off with what we've got here. We've got 2 minus the cube root of x plus 1. Let's go backwards. Going backwards is the inverse function. And that way, we do the opposite of everything we've done above, and we do it in the opposite order. The first thing then, what's opposite to adding 2? Subtracting 2. So we would get, straight away, if we start off with an input of x, okay, we subtract 2 from it, so you get x minus 2. The next thing that we did is we multiplied by minus 1, so let's divide by minus 1. Let's divide by minus 1. A little bit of separate working. x minus 2 divided by minus 1 actually is the same as minus 1 times x minus 2, which actually is equal to 2 minus x. So when we divide by minus 1, we actually get 2 minus x. What did we do there? We cube rooted. So let's cube this now to do the opposite. So we get 2 minus x all cubed. And the last thing we did is add 1. So we're going to finish off by subtracting 1. And so we would get 2 minus x all cubed, subtract 1. The inverse function f to the minus 1 of x is therefore equal to 2 minus x cubed minus 1. I'll write that up here. f to the minus 1 of x is equal to 2 minus x all cubed minus 1. I'll just rub out that temporarily. There is another method of doing this. What we said is you can say let y equal to 2 minus the cube root of x plus 1. You can swap x and y. So you just literally just swap the x and y's. This is just a method that happens to work. And then you try and make y the subject of the formula. So what you do is you take away 2 from both sides so you get x minus 2 is equal to the negative cube root of y plus 1. Then you would times both sides by minus 1. So you would get 2 minus x is equal to the cube root of y plus 1. Then you would cube both sides. So you would get 2 minus x cubed is equal to y plus 1. And to finish with then, you would get y is equal to 2 minus x cubed, take away 1. This new y, you then at the end swap it with f to the minus 1 of x, and you just write f to the minus 1 of x is equal to 2 minus x cubed minus 1. That was another way to solve that inverse, to find the inverse. Just to finish with a very easy, how is the graph of a function and its inverse related? Well, this is always a standard answer. A, a function and its inverse function are always reflections of each other in the line y is equal to x. Thank you.